Bro, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. What? Dude, that shit's fucking move. Oh. What the fuck? Disappear. Objeto no identificado. Look behind you. Insane. Whoa, did you see that? Did anyone else see that? I know y'all seen it. That the alien flag is known as the trilateral insignia. It looks like a TP with two circles on either side of the V and one pole running straight down the middle. It is displayed on their craft and worn on their chest on their uniforms. Both of these landings in the second meeting were filmed, and the film exists today. Where it exists, I do not know, but I do know that it exists. The treaty stated, the aliens would not interfere in our affairs and we would not interfere in theirs. We were particularly interested that they do not interfere with anything that would affect our future, which has been violated. We would keep their presence on Earth a secret. They would furnish us with advanced technology and would help us in our technological development. They would not make any treaty with any other Earth nation. They could abduct humans on a limited and periodic basis for the purpose of medical examination and monitoring of our development with the stipulation that the humans would not be harmed, would be returned to their point of abduction, that the humans would have no memory of the event, and that the alien nation would furnish MJ-12 with a list of all human contacts and abductees on a regularly scheduled basis. And this is not being done. It was agreed that each nation would receive the ambassador of the other for as long as the treaty remained in force. It was further agreed that the alien nation in the United States would exchange 16 personnel each to the other with the purpose of learning each of the other. The alien guests would remain on Earth and the human guests would travel to the alien point of origin for a specified period of time, then return, at which point a reverse exchange would be made. I have no knowledge whatsoever of what happened to those original 16 humans who left the earth with the aliens. This is a better uh, clip of the video that I showed yesterday. Uh, it's more detailed. It's a bigger version for y'all. So we added that. For that purpose. Look behind you. Y'all see it? In November 2011, a UFO appeared over France. Witnesses believe it was investigating the technical performance of two French Air Force planes. French Air Force pilots also spotted the object and flew past it. The UFO then ascended vertically and flew away. I wish he would keep the camera still. Run with your arm, nigga. Strip the color away. That's definitely a solid structure. Adam and Eve, how yeah. they were created, mm -hmm. and how that relates to the Anunnaki specifically. Right. Can you explain specifically how that sure. how that was described in the tablets? So in the tablets, 
they don't actually make a human being from like dirt and dust, like it says in the Bible. Like they didn't right. create no dirt and just make a human being like magic. What they did was there was an existing hominid already on this planet. So the Ejiji right. was getting ready to go to war. There was going to be a coup against the kings of Earth. So they came from Mars to Earth in the Atrahasis. They encircled the camp in Africa of Enlil and Enki and Anu, who was their father. And they get ready to go to battle because their working conditions are harsh. They've been working for 250,000 years. No women was one of the biggest complaints. And they felt like they were becoming slaves, even though they were volunteers for this breakaway civilization. The war almost happened, but then Enki, who's Enlil's brother, says, I have an idea. There's an existing being here. They're talking about our cousin, not Homo sapien. Something else was here already. We can add our essence to it, to it and get it to do our labor, to do your labor. And it, an agreement was made. This is in the Enuma Elish and a totally separate tablet called the Atrahasis Epic. Two separate tablets saying the same exact thing. And so what they did was they first started with taking genetic material and then making these clones. But the problem with the clones was they couldn't reproduce on their own. Mm. Eventually, and they were doing this in a place called, called Adam's Calendar in Africa, which they discovered recently were the first 200,000-year-old gold mines worker. They were putting us to work right away mining gold. And from there, they said, okay, these clones are here, but it's not working out properly. And that's when Nhersag, a.k.a. Isis, they said, I'm going to take one to term. She took an egg out of a hominid, cleaned out some of the genetic material, added their essence to it. In other words, genetically modified the egg in some way. This is what we call in modern scientific terms, making a zygote. And then in vitro fertilization in her own womb, Ten months later, gave birth to Adamu, which means first man, and that was Adam. After that, there was this tablet that came out called the Myth of Adapa. It talks about the fact that we are created in a way where Enki, he added something a little extra to us that he wasn't supposed to do. He gave us the capability of having, uh, in the future, of superseding the Anunnaki themselves, and it made the Anunnaki relatives of his jealous of us and angry with us because he had created something that even long term could be better than them. But nobody knew why he did it, but he it got it got him into a battle against his own brother. This is all in ancient tablets. Picture with the root ball there. That's always exciting. It is. <laughs> Eh, os voy a mostrar cómo veo yo la cúpula, nuestro firmamento. Ahí tenéis vuestras estrellas, que no son más que burbujas, que no sabemos de qué tipo de gas contendrán o no sé lo que contendrán, pero lo único que hay es una luz exterior, que en este caso es una linterna, y ahí tenéis vuestra, a vuestra izquierda el sol y a vuestra derecha la luna, más claro que se ve amarillento en un lado en la, en la claridad del día y blanco en la oscuridad de la noche. Si lo giro en el ángulo correcto, ahí tenéis vuestro día y vuestra noche. A ver, ahí lo veis. Ahora, si quisiera hacer un eclipse, solo tengo que mover el sol eh, y, o sea, la luz de una forma determinada y se van a unir las dos. Mira, pum, eclipse. Bueno, esto es una forma sencilla y simple para que entendáis cómo veo yo el firmamento. Ahora me contáis que hay planetas, que hay todo lo que queráis, pero que ahí se ven dos luces, una amarillenta y una blanca. La amarillenta en el día como el sol y la blanca en la noche como la luna. Ahí lo tenéis. Y'all want to see something crazy? Watch this, y'all. Look at that. Watch that. You see? How many signs y'all see first? <laughs> see one right here? You're gonna count. You know, see one, right one and pass, right? Got another one come behind it. Y'all seen it, right? Got another one right behind it. I hope y'all just saw that. It's crazy. If y'all didn't, then you definitely had your third eye not open. They're trying to pull the cord out, yo. And when we going live, showing y'all stuff like this. 
So I showed you a little while ago, they tried to cover it up, but you know it's still trying to come back. See it right here again? It's right there, they don't want y'all to see that. <laughs> they don't want y'all to see that, so they try to cover it up. <laughs> they can't stop the gods, man. We the, the real gods. This ain't that play play stuff. Look at that, y'all. I mean, how many sons y'all see? Once again, y'all still want to go out the way. You see, still want to go out the way. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, they trying their best to stop summer, bro. Hey, it's into the weather, y'all. They're trying to stop summer. They're trying to stop summer because they know they about to be a bummer. They about to be a bummer. Be a bummer for some people in the summer. Oh, what a bummer summer. Y'all see what I'm saying? Yep. Y'all seeing what I'm seeing? See it seeing? again. Right here. It's the shit I'm talking about. And right here. So that you to get live, you to see it, what I'm seeing. Can't deny what you're seeing. I'm moving the camera around so you can see that I'm not bullshitting you. All you do is see what you see. Know what you know. You gotta worry about the ribble. If you think that's the ribble, then it might be in the ribble. I don't think it's the ribble. You heard? If it's the ribble, Okay. We should be saved already. We shouldn't be not saved, but something should happen about now. Y'all see what I'm saying? Which one is sun, y'all? Which one is sun, y'all? We hmm. all know what that is, right? We didn't cover this. Which one is sun, y'all? It's an amazing video. Which one is sun? Told y'all unbelievable shit I see. My third eye open. They still coming, but they ain't gonna mean nothing. They gonna move right past them. What, what is that? You just caught sun, bro. You see that? You see two suns, right? Watch my, I'm gonna play it back, bro. Look at that. You see that? Two suns. Which one is sun? They're trying to hide it, but, but you're gonna see it again. So you ain't gonna let none of that happen. Look at all that coming. They trying their best, y'all. You see that? Two sons, bro. You know what I think is the, uh, like, we done seen hundreds and hundreds of videos, man, that show the two sons, right? Like, it's the same thing with the education system, with a lot of things that they don't teach no more because they knew it was to be untrue, very false. Um, and it was that way on purpose, just like, you know, the blocking of the sun with the, you know, with all these chemtrails and stuff like that, you know, you can see the glimmer of these two celestial bodies, whatever you want to call them in the sky. And they have actively been trying to block them. And this is a perfect video. It's beautiful. What y'all uh, go ahead. What they call it. Nibiru, uh, you know, um, planet X, so many different names for it, but whatever you want to call it is there. Gotcha. Bruh. I'm not, I'm not defending this aspect of it, but if two... And I ain't forgot about y'all. I had to move and everything, but I'm still dropping a video on, um, you know, my encounters as well. So I still got y'all. Don't, don't think I forgot. 2.3 trillion is, in fact, the unacknowledged special access project. Is that what you're saying? Apparently, if the Secretary well, that's not of Defense really can't... Oh, you're saying it could be. You it, just don't know. I, we think it is. Uh, and in fact, okay. I believe that's what he was saying. Okay, well, if we Over have, a number of years, many years. If we have counted in those projects things like uh, anti-gravity machines, things like space elevators that are based on anti-gravity research and magnetism and electricity that goes 
far beyond any of us are really totally aware of right now, or some may be, or I can think of a number of things. But here's my question. Yes. And I want you to really give me your best possible feeling on this. Is some of that clearly legitimately withheld for national security reasons? Yes, in fact, uh, I was approached by some folks when, uh, after Obama was elected, to support an initiative uh, to privately bring out the uh, lifter or uh, electromagnetic gravitics. And I said, because they could become a delivery system, and I was meeting with an Air Force colonel at the time, I, I think that some of that needs to be looked at very carefully. However, the stationary energy generation systems that would get us off oil, gas, and coal tomorrow uh, those should be brought out. So I think that. Well, of course. There's so no I think I think there you, you do have to have a very. And I, I'm I'm saying this, and I know there are people who probably in the disclosure movement are going to be appalled by, by what I'm about to say, is that we do not yet live in a world where everyone on the planet uh, should have a lifter and you know, transfer transportation system that could get us from here to Paris in two or three minutes. And I think that. Those sort of technologies obviously have weapons delivery applications. Uh, however, the part of the technology that deals with energy generation uh, should come out and, and has also been suppressed for reasons mainly of macroeconomic stability because, as you know, part of the national security discussion has always been these would be highly disruptive technologies, to which I say, well, good. You want to be disrupted now or later when we go through a terminus with the environment melting down around us. We have got to make these hard decisions. Okay, well, then my last question to you, Dr. Greer, would be these 14 countries that are disclosing or at least making it possible for the people in those countries and people around the world to know what's in those files, is it possible that one of the reasons they may be motivated over the United States is because they think some of this stuff that's being seen and this phenomenon there, that's the maneuvering that's been talked about, right? the maneuvering that defies the laws of physics, might be something the United States is testing that the United States just refuses to talk about? Correct. They do know that that's the case. And, 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 and in fact, yes. Uh, in fact, in, in, in the French government, we've had discussions about this. They know that some of these objects are of extraterrestrial origin. They know that some of them are man-made. And the Lockheed Skunk Works, and some of my uh, witnesses and sources work in this, the, the famous Skunk Works. Uh, and I, were, uh, I will tell you that Ben Rich, who headed up the Lockheed Skunk Works, said before he died, and we have a, a witness to this comment, that we, quote, already have the technologies to take E.T. home. In other words, we already have at the Skunk Works interstellar-capable technologies. Thank you. You know it, and I know it. And you notice that with people that go against the grain, they always sick or, you know, some type of mental illness or something like that. And come on now, we pick up on the trends, man. Everything is just not a coincidence. Joe doesn't know he's alive. Because Biden doesn't know he's alive. Biden doesn't know, I mean, he doesn't know he's alive. Now, I have to tell you, he's a different guy. He looks different than he used to. He acts different than he used to. He's even slower than he used to be. So I don't know, but <laughs> I call him 1% Joe. Joe Biden is a dummy. It's not him. He's a he is. <laughs> He's a puppet. He is. <laughs> That's literally aliens. Can you see the light? Holy shit. You can see the ship move across. Uh, I swear to God, that's aliens. Bam! What is that? Anybody tell me what that is? We're in the middle of the ocean. On a ferry. Nothing around. Look. Nothing around. No land, no nothing. Tell me what that is, dog. Y'all can't tell me that ain't no book.
went behind it too. Alright. Hey, right there look you know the difference between those all right so say that one is real right i would say that that's one of uh, uh that's a man-made one that's a reverse engineer one because it don't like the ones that you think will come from like a higher civilization would be it wouldn't have like a beam coming out the bottom exposing it to all of us you know like it, it's not going to emanate a power source right how y'all feel about that? We're going to keep going, though. Oh, we know what that is. Come on, they're going to say, oh, this is firecrackers. And then they stop midair to hover. And move independently, <laughs> but you know, nah, you know, it's just fire, firecrackers, people. Damn, my They're coming to eat us. That's a moon. Yeah, that's the moon right there, and that's very low, and it's that's very a... red. It, that doesn't make sense at all. Look at all these people looking at this. You see this? Look at all these people. I have no idea what that is right there. This is still in Scottsdale, yeah. It's part two. I'm going to tell you this, like, out here in these areas, like, look, that's pretty normal, y'all. Glasgow, Scotland just reported this incredible sighting of what appears to be some type of UFO flying across the sky. Some said it changed colors and made no sound as it flew by. Many people think it's just a meteorite, but as more videos came out of it glowing in different colors, some are actually starting to believe it might have been a UFO. That's fucking creepy. Hey, uh, the end of the world's coming. I'm telling you, bro. Wait a Halo second. Sent me the storm On my phone, look. You can see a black dot up there. Hmm. What the fuck? What the hell? Dude, that's UFO. a UFO. <laughs> Dude. It just disappeared. It just disappeared. What the fuck?